Hey, what's up, guys? It's Presley D here, back with another video. So today I got another modded outfit. And if you guys go enjoy this video, please leave a like on it and make sure you guys subscribe with notifications on as well if you're new. Now, yeah, let's begin. All right, so this glitch will delete your outfit. So if you do not want to lose any of your outfits, do not do this glitch, okay? And second of all, you want to put on the outfit that you want to keep. For so, for example, I want to keep mine right here. So you want to go ahead and wear that, okay? And you want to do next is hit the pause menu, go online, and you want to go over swap characters. And so this is where we're going to be creating our second female character, alright? Now make sure your main character is on the first slot, and the character you're going to be creating is on the second one. If it's the opposite way, then do, do not do this glitch because it won't work. Now, if it, if, it shows a, show, if it shows a male character in the second slot, Go ahead and press X or A on Xbox on it, and you want to go ahead and edit that character and change the gender to female, okay? So like I said, just click on here, and it's going to ask you to, to name your character, so go ahead and name your character whatever you want. It's not a matter, because you're going to be deleting right after anyways, so yeah. So you want to go ahead and press X on it, like I said, put your name on it, and you want to go ahead and take the picture. Go ahead and take the picture. And next thing's gonna happen is you know to go through this minute or two of this casino intro DLC. Uh, just be patient about that because I know it gets annoying after a while. So, all right. So once you're here, you wanna make sure that the clone icon is on the map. If it doesn't show up, just find a new session. So you wanna go ahead and go inside the clothing store. First things first, you wanna go over to the tops. You wanna go over to the the government running T-shirts, and you wanna put on blue digital uh, T-shirt. It's gonna be the last one here. Next thing you want to do is go up to the jackets right here, go to co go to work jackets, and you want to pull on this blue one right here. Alright, so next thing you want to do is you want to go over to the pants. You want to go with sports pants, they pull on the first one right here. It's called a spotted muscle pants. Alright. And next thing you want to do is go over to the shoes. You want to go to high heel boots, and you want to pull on the number 24 um, midnight combat uh, high heel boots. All right, and you want to do is go over to accessories and make sure you do, your character does not have any earrings or any, any default accessories. So you want to go over to gloves and you want to put on the light woolen tactical gloves. And you want to go ahead and set the outfit. All right, so you should have this outfit that, that you copied here. All right, this is going to be the first um, component outfit that we, that we only need. So you want to go ahead and hit the pause menu, go, go online, and you want to go over to creator. Now you you can um pause this video and look what I'm doing right now because I'm gonna fast forward this part where I'm doing the transfer glitch. So you want to do is you want to go over to right here. You want to create a race, then you want to create a land race. It's gonna kick you off for a second, and you want to go ahead and copy the same things I'm doing right now. So if you want to slow down the video, you can, but I'm just gonna fast forward this because it takes a bit to do. So you want to go ahead and. Oh yeah, and also make sure that the race link is at least 0.62 or higher. If it's under that, um, it's going to show like the red triangle thing on the bottom right. So once you've done that, you want to go ahead and do the race. It should take about 25 seconds to do. Alright, so when you finish the race, it's going to ask you if you want to go back to your creator. If you want to press X or A on Xbox to click OK on it. Then you want to hit the pause menu go online. Do not go to GTA Online. Do not... Do that just go over to choose characters and this is where we're going to be deleting our second female character right here hey guys listen to me on this you want to hover over your second female character and press square or x to delete your character it's going to make you type it so go ahead and type that make sure not to delete your <laughs> main character all right so um your, your character should be deleted and what you want to do next is you want to press circle to return GTA 5 or become Xbox. You now click X or A, alright, because you'll mess up the glitch. And when you're in story mode, when you're in story mode, you want to hit the pause menu again, go online, and find a new um, invite only session. And once you're in here, you should have your outfit that, that you wanted to keep. So you go ahead and save that just in case something happens, alright. And um, you want to do next. Let's go over to the pants. You're gonna go over here to the um, team pants and we'll pull on this, this tan camel pants, whatever it's called. 
And last thing you want to do is make sure you take off any accessories. Take off like a beanie, a hat, rebreather, all that stuff. And you want to go over to the t-shirts. And you want to put on a, to the, you want to put on a charcoal or charcoal t-shirt right here. It's going to be this plain black one right here. All right. So we since done that. Um, like I said, just make sure you take off any accessories right here. Like gloves, hats, rebreathers, necklace, stuff like that. And you want to go ahead and put on this white cotton gloves. All right. So what you want to do next is hit deposit me and go online. Go to jobs, play drops, rocks are created. And you want to go over to the versus mission. Then you want to start the crook on mission. Now this is the part where you're going to need a friend or random to join you. If you're going to have a random jo to join you, be please be patient about that. So what you want to do next is go to clothing and you want to go and make sure that's on player owned. Now once you're here, what you want to do is, is um, press the left on the D-pad to go once to the left. And then you should have this outfit right here with cop out and, and all that. So you want to go ahead and wait for your friend or a random to start the mission. Just press ready. Um, if if a random or a friend joins on your team, just don't switch teams because it might mess up the outfit and then you're going to have to redo it again. Alright, so you want to go ahead and wait for that. Oh yeah, and I forgot to say, if you guys don't have an earpiece for your character, you want to go ahead and go to the ammunition store and buy one before you start this mission. Alright, or, or just a rebreather. It's not really matter. So you want to do next... Is once you start the mission, you want to go over to your interaction menu, go to styles, go to accessories, and you want to put on an earpiece or ruby there. Once you've done that, pull up your phone and quit the mission, or you just want to hit the pause menu, pause menu and find a new session. Now, if you're spawning in with a modded outfit, and you want to run down to the image store and go ahead and save that. Go ahead and save, just save the outfit. And you should have your modded outfit plus the outfit that you wanted to keep earlier. <laughs> I don't know why I keep seeing outfit earlier, but... Um, yeah, and that should be it for today's video. I hope you enjoy it. If you do, please leave a like on it and make sure you guys subscribe to the notification on as well if you're new. And go follow my Instagram. I have an Instagram, so it's going to be in the description if you guys want to go follow me on that. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.